Hello guys, in this tutorial we're going to be covering the process of rotating the hand that you see on my display right now. It is deceivingly challenging as it is a slow, complex, organic movement. We're going to start by creating a tracker and selecting this point around the thumb area to get the general motion of the hand. Once we have our track, we're going to set like the tracker to stabilize and put it right below our plate. Once we confirm that the track is good and smooth, we're going to create a roto and defocus node. Then we'll pick the sharpest frame in the frame range. With the best CR tool, we're going to start creating our roto shapes with the strategy of making one per movable area. You'll see what I mean in a second. Do note that I'm creating a bit of an overlap area where two shapes meet in order for them to move together. With the roto shapes already laid out and everything matching in terms of alpha and defocus, I'm going to look for the best spot to put my next keyframe. Here I found an area where the movement settles in general, so it's a good spot. So I'm going to adjust the shape, making sure that everything matches, just like before. Once done, I'm going to test the animation, make sure like the motion is about right. With the pattern of work now established, you're going to repeat this process of finding the area where like the movement settles and adding a keyframe there. The only thing that I do want to point out, whenever you're adjusting the joints, the points in the vicinity of the overlap, they should move together to have the roto working as one. Another thing to notice is, just as you're animating your roto shapes, you'll have to do the same for your focus. For example, here I'm adding a keyframe for the focus, and I did have to adjust the roto shape afterwards. Once you completed the main animation, you can move on to dealing with specifics, meaning dealing with the particular movements displayed by joint area. Shapes that are either lagging, getting ahead, or displaying a unique type of movement. And the last thing, unplug the tracker, and put it right below the roto node and set the trackers transform to match move. And that's pretty much it. Of course, there's more advanced ways of doing this, but for now, just practice this method. If you have any questions or concerns, leave me a comment below and I'll make sure to answer. Also, please do me a favor and like the video just to make sure that like the content that I'm doing is actually helpful for you. Also, please subscribe if you wanna stay up to date with all of the lessons that I'm sharing with you in this channel.